Hey YouTube, DG here. Today's is a different kind of video. I get inspired by this other YouTuber I watch called Italia51. I decided for this video I'm going to do a video talking about my um, uh, Comic Con experience at the New York Comic Con I went to called Undiscovered Realm Con. Just a little vlog is all. Describe how my experience went. And, and that's basically it's all this video is going to be. Ex explaining how the experience went. Because, as you know, I love to go Comic Cons. Uh, I love Cons. And as you can tell here, I've I did like a bunch of autographs. As you can see here. So I went to one in New York. I want to tell you about how my experience was. Yeah, uh, I mean, so let's uh, start at the beginning. Anyway, uh, well, when me and my dad were going to decide to go, go to the con, another thing my, my dad wanted to do was that he wanted to visit his um, uh, parents' grave, my grandparents' paternal, because in 2021, both of my grandparents passed away. He straight away, I mean, we stayed in New Jersey for this. Like, it's, so my dad wanted to pay his respects to them. So yeah, we, we took the flight there. That's the first thing we did when we got to uh, New Jersey was we went to the cemetery to visit our grandparents' graves. And we paid our respects to them. Um, and then we stayed at my, at my uh, aunt's house. Those, me and my dad. And we hung out with our cousins and such. And the next day, I wore my cosplay. I cosplayed as Neptune from Ruby. Although I'm going to need to get a better wig for it. Right? Like Neptune Venezuela. Well, when we got there, I waited in line. But some. And I chatted out with some uh, has been hotel cosplayers. I watch has because I'm in. Through my uh, VTube community. T I'm part of called Evoverse. I'll get to that in a separate video. So, in the video. So I was there. They liked my cosplay. We I chatted up with them all wing in line. Right. Eventually, we I, I we were supposed to get it earlier, but there were some technical difficulties they had to fix. I forgot what it was, but they I think it was like it had to do with like the internet going out for a sec, so they had to fix that. And after a bit, they fixed it, and we were let in. So after we were let in, uh, and we went to town. One thing they did this con that's different from most. I've been to is that they actually had like two separate rooms for things like they had like the upper level which was like where you get all the collectibles and the art and the art and the where all the vendors are at that kind of crap and the bottom level was where the celebrities were at yeah and some of the guests were there you had like most of the actors from the 1990s Ninja Turtle movies these you had um uh Chris Cowley Dog Mario Grassy some anime voice actors so from stuff like my, I think I'm tying my hero in One Piece. Yeah, hey, and um, uh, has been hotel voice actors. You had what else did you have there? Um. Oh yeah, and the Thundercats. Yes, yeah, so that's what. I, see, uh, they had three of them because the three of them. Um, uh, Larry Kenny, who did the voice of Lino. Pierre Newman, who did the voice of Tigra and Wily Cat. Now, well, uh, is it Wily Cat? Yeah, Wily Cat. And Linda Lipton, who did the voice of Chitara and Wily Kit. The voice of Panther wasn't there because he passed away some time ago. I think most of the voice actors passed away. I think the guy who did Snarf died. I think the guy who did Mumra died. Yeah, I think most of them are dead. I think they're like three of the only survivors. So yeah, I went to see them. With them, if you got them, if you got paid for them, you would get both a uh, picture and autograph with the well, for the price of one. Although with Peter Newman, I just got the picture. I can uh, show a little bit here. I met the, I met Larry. So the here's how I start with the guest. I met Larry Kinney first. First, I'm uh, going to my uh, personal Instagram to show you the. Images. Here's the shot we took. I know it's a bad 
wig for my wig, but I'm gonna get a better one soon. Get, but yeah, me and Larry Kate, we, we said, ho! Because he goes like, Thundercats, ho! We're getting the Sword of Omens out. Yeah, he was nice. I talked to him. I asked him what his favorite thing, thing about doing Thundercats was. It said he liked the voice, doing the voice of Lionel. He loves the voice he does for Lionel and stuff. He likes that. And what they have to say about the figure get met, I liked how well they're old timers. They're fun old timers. Like, they're able to still have fun, joke around, all that stuff. I like how they were still cool despite that. Like, a lot of people think, oh, when you're old, you're not cool. They prove you wrong. They're old and they're cool. Oh, yep, they're old and cool. So, yeah, I got my picture done. I got my picture 10 taken with a Peter Newman here. Here we are. I'll set up with the third guy. Things I said, Thundercats are on. And he says, well, not so much anymore. <laughs> because, yeah, at one point, we rather get our selfie. I accidentally knocked over, like, the stand on on this table, and he jokes at me, that'd be an extra 20. I'm kidding. <laughs> I like that. I just joked at me. I forgot why I asked my favorite thing about... Uh, well, the thing I asked... I think it said was just the amount of characters got to play, because you got to play multiple characters. So we got the selfie. Then went to Linda Lipton. Then Lipton, who I assume he has... Because I kept trying to ask her thing about what Shatara was, and she misunderstood what I was saying a few times, because, you know, old, but... But yeah, she said she thought she was a badass and she was thinking to play that character. And we got our selfie here. Here we are. And she's wearing a pretty cool Chidara shirt. And here's the autograph I got from uh, Larry Kenny and Linda Lipton. There's uh, mine from Larry Kenny. There's uh, mine from Linda Lipton. They're all nice people. After that, I went to get an autograph from... I'm trying, I think it was Robbie Wrist. I did next to um, uh, Mikey from the 90s Ninja movies. I don't know if he was in all three of them or not, but I went to him next. Next, next, he was pretty cool. We chat for a little bit. He told me something about Bar Sports doing the movies, so they had lines. Like he said, he. As, as we talked a little bit about the scene where him and the. One other foot soldier having the little nunchuck contest. So he says, ah, oh, yes, that's a favorite of mine. And the other checker. <laughs> yeah, and he, so yeah, I in the films. He's just really cool. And we, he's, I got, I just got an autograph from him. I'll show you the autograph here. Ah, crap. Some of my other autographs fell out. Um, here we go. Uh, Ninja Turtles 2. This is my favorite Ninja Turtle movie, probably. He signed in orange, of course. I have signed just Carol Bunga, because what the hell. Well, so there's also next one was a Brian Tochi. I didn't, you know, because I already got his Brian Tochi who played Leo in the Ninja Turtles movies from uh, Galaxy Con Online. I'll show you that autograph here. This one. And Brian Tochi there is very energetic, very heavy to see his fans. It also got really hard that when a fan gave him a drawing of him, he was so touched by it, he gave the fan a hug and a pic and a selfie with them. It, it warmed my heart seeing how appreciative the guy was, what was that a fan of his drew that picture for him. Anyway. Uh, and also, another fun thing. When I was waiting in line for one of the celebrities, I saw Kevin and Clash, the guy who did Elmo, he was at the con, because he voiced, um, because he played, uh, Splinter in the original 90s TMNT movies. He's, he's, he, I saw him actually do the, I didn't talk to him, I saw him do the Elmo voice. I'm not kidding. He was doing the Elmo voice in that, at racing, doing the Elmo life. Ha! <laughs> I could not believe what I was seeing there. Evan Clash of the Flash doing Elmo. That is something uh, they, you would never think to see in the Flash at all. <laughs> what about this? Did you see my church? And after that, I went to get a graph from uh, Robbie McCollum, who you may know as Reiner from Attack on Titan. And I'm... Um, uh, Stain the Hero Kill from My Hero Academia. His line was kind of long. Actually, initially I was going to do Brian, Brandon Potter, but there who's name but his line was kind of long, so I went for um, uh, Robin McCollum. It took me a bit. Well, I was way in line. I saw the people in line with me, and I also... And the, and the tables next to me were um, uh, Vincent Martella and David Arago from uh, Fans and Ferb there. I said hi to Vincent Martella, and at one point, David Arago walked by in line. I said hi to him, and he said, Hey, bud! So I said, Hey, how's it going? These just seem like nice people, so yeah. 
I also saw a bit of Trina Nishima, who voiced Mikasa and Attack on Titan in Jiro My Academia, whose autograph I have over there. I said hi to her as well. She has hi back. Heck, I usually say that to a lot of the cast there. And then eventually I got to Ryan McCollum and I got his autograph as a. Uh, let's see here. Uh, as Reiner. If I can find it in here by. Here we go. Here's him next to his uh, attack. as a uh, armor titan form. Anyway. But yeah, yeah, he was really nice. He kind of talked about all his fan stuff. He liked my Neptune cosplay because he knew better because most of his uh, cast members were. Uh, his fellow cast members probably told him, like, Jesse James Grail. He said, Oh, yeah, she's great. Nice. So, uh, it, right. Yeah, we, yeah, we talked about that a little bit. Robin Club wasn't Ruby, sadly. I mean, hopefully one day he can be in the show. Hopefully. I'd like to see that. But yeah, Robin Club was really nice. He agreed. He, when I talked about some of the stuff like about Attack on Titan, and, like, I told him one of my favorite scenes was, like, the scene when. When, uh, Arm, uh, when, uh, Reiner and Bertolt Hoover reveal themselves as the Titans, Tins, which I thought is one of the best scenes in the show, and he agreed that that was a really fun scene. He also said that when they're filming, like, the, fin they're recording, like, the finale, they didn't actually read the manga beforehand, because they, hand the, because yeah, they, because they want to be, like, a surprise for them, which I thought was pretty cool, so I got the autograph, graph, let's see what he's signing on the autograph, autograph, um, uh, he signed the autograph to Brian, Robbie McCollum, Reiner, uh, Reiner slash Armored. Oh yeah, he was on uh, Robbie Rest signing his. He signed Cal Bun. Oh yeah, that's what he did. For uh, Lino, he signed Button the Cat's Ho, and for Linda Lefton, she just signed to Brian Lin uh, Linda Lefton, which is cool. And um, uh, after that, I went back upstairs and I walked around. Around. There's like a bunch of people there. I almost tripped over a couple of little kids. The thing I did, I was looking around trying to find collectibles to get. And here's another funny, funny thing. I ran into this girl uh, girl there, like I said, she looked very familiar to me. Especially with, with her amazing digital circus his doll. I was like, hmm, who could. Uh, um, is it right there? So then I checked the YouTube channel of this YouTuber, YouTuber I follow called Kitty Monk. Monk. Monk, who's a cartoon reviewer. Were and where I checked her community page, and I saw it, it was her. So then I ran back to the girls like, "Hey, I recognize you now. You're Kitty Monk." And she so was. So we talked for a little bit. I told her, "Hey, I'm in, I'm in your Discord." So he said, "Great. Wait, which one are you again?" I said, "I'm Darth Gold." That says, "Oh yeah, I've seen you a few times because I do watch your content. And I think it's pretty good." Good. So yeah, yeah. And then we got like a little selfie together. So yeah, this is also a partial shout out to a uh, Kitty Monk. You rock. Um. Okay, I don't have the photos here. The photo here, but I'm... Um, give me a second. Yeah. Find it here. Um, uh, give me a minute. Scroll, scroll up if I can find the... F here we go. Here's me in uh, Kitty Monk here. Here, yeah, and, and before else, she gave me a free pen, which is downstairs. Yeah, so, yeah, we, we got the, uh, see, so yeah, we got the picture yet. Yeah, it was cool. I got the mirror. I didn't expect it to be there. Like, it was like a complete coincidence. I ran to Kitty Monk there. Complete coincidence. I did not see that coming. Out of that, I walked around, bought some collectibles. Like, I bought one moment. I got it right. Give me a sec here. I got. This bad boy there because I because I sometimes buy bootleg Blu-rays of cartoons off of sites online because of the which I've been doing a lot recently because of the streaming purges which is pissing me off. So, I've, but fortunately, unfortunately, one of the stories I oh, sorry, I did this for Asuka the dog got taken down, so I couldn't get there. So, but luckily that con was selling these, so I got this. The complete 90s Spider-Man cartoon, which is which is probably my first exposure to Spider-Man. And I also got a, a NECA Raphael figure from the um, uh, Trolls in Time video game, which I enjoyed playing. <laughs> Excuse me. And after that, I decided to get one last autograph, and the person I chose was uh, James Saito from... 
who played uh, Shredder in the first Ninja Turtle movie. When I, also, as we were playing, I did wave to uh, Francois Chow, who plays Shredder in the second film, who's like, I've already had through GalaxyCon, and he waved back to me. And when I walked into Francois Chow, I showed him my um, uh, uh, foot, lo foot Clan logo on it, and told him, I'm on your side. He thought I was funny, and I told him, sign. So, welcome to the Foot Clan on it. Yeah, dude, Saito was nice. I will show you the, um, uh, auto... Where did it go? I had a minute ago. Give me a sec. Here. Yeah, here we go. This, this shot, I am signing red because that's the color here. He, here. He's signing like here because I'm a Francois Chow's color was purple in that initial movie, so I had... Dad, um, uh, James Saito sign in red. Ed. So yeah, and I, as usual, did almost to the cosplayers. Like, here's a couple images I have of some of the cosplayers at the con. Here's, oh my. Come on, Instagram, load, load, freaking Instagram. Something. I'll give you something went wrong. Okay, give me a sec. I'm going to have to find another source again to show you my... Okay, I'm going to go through my camera roll. Roll here to show you the um, uh, photos. Um... Ah, uh, here we go. Here's another picture of me and two cosplayers who are cosplaying as X-Men Evolution Rogue and Jean Grey. Which, in X... I mean, just, uh, which X-Men Evolution Rogue is best Rogue to me. Me. That version was, was badass. And I'm gonna see what... See, here's some other... Here's me with a cosplayer of an Inquisitor from Star Wars. Me and a cosplayer of Darth Vader. There. Me and a cosplayer of Time Force Red, Red, or if you're from, uh, oh, if you're more a fan of Sentai, Sentai Time Red. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, oh, yeah here's a Nick. Here's this is a photo of toys that took like this Nick figures of Toka and Razar, Ninja Turtles 2. And it's a Nick figure of a uh, Shredder there from Ninja Turtles. Uh, yeah, yeah, that, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna show you most of this. Just, 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 here's me and a Jawa. Let's see here. Uh, I got a picture of the. This, this is the pen game Monk gave me. Yeah, then afterwards, me and my dad just basically head back we, when we hung out with my um, uh, relatives and had fun. Uh, because we also hung out with my uh, dad's cousin, his wife, and my dad's aunt, whose husband sadly passed away last year. Rest in peace. And the next day, me and my dad went to New York City, where we just walked around, hung out, saw the sights. Eats all that jazz. Uh, as, like, um, uh, I'll show you some, uh, for the fun of it, I'll show you some of the things we got. Where we checked out like a dis, like a Disney store. Uh, we went to Times Square. We checked out like a Disney store, which had some cool stuff. And we saw. Us. And like, I like how this story said this Captain America said, "Do not give up." <laughs> that was fun. And I'm uh, here. Some of the stuff we saw. And, um, uh, what else? Oh, yeah, this cool advert for, um, uh, Deadpool and Wolverine, which I will be seeing, seeing. And we went to, uh, Midtown Comics, which is, a which I've been to before. They're New York. Here's, here's those of New York, like, this league's little, uh, statues of Ahsoka Tano and Darth Maul. And some others, their memorabilia there. Funko Pops, Batman, um, other stuff, Baby Yoda, 
and a, a pizza place. And also I went to a mall there and I bought myself a, a cool Mario hat that I no idea where it is, but here's a picture of me and my uh, Mario hat with the ears. Because I thought it looked cool. And then we went home. So yeah, that was my honestly real con experience. And, and I am thankful that at these cons how some of the nice have been nice to me so far, the ones I've met personally, because it's like with YouTube I watch Tasty One set says says if you're con it doesn't matter if you're tired or you wanna go home, don't be rude to people. Bull. Bull. Don't be a dick, don't be rude. Like my boy boy Fabio or Tasty says. Says says Yeah. So yeah, anyway, I think that's about uh, it for my vlog here. And uh, also, shout out to Tyson 51 Fabio, for giving me the idea, for inspiring me to make these vlogs. You rock, dude. And also, uh, shout out to Kelly Kitty Monk for seeing you at the con. It was really cool meeting you. You the, you're in the flesh. flesh. And that's about it. I hope you guys have a good day, and I'll be coming out with more content as soon as I can. Bye.